Well, let's get you the very latest uh, on reaction from Brazil. France 24's Jan Onusco is in uh, Brasilia for us. Uh, Jan, how is Brazil uh, handling uh, the loss of uh, Pele today? Well, Rochelle, normally this time of year is one of great celebration. New Year is a significant holiday for Brazil. But this year it's imbued with a great deal of sadness. You can tell the atmosphere is subdued. And that is precisely because of the passing of Pele, Brazil's greatest footballing legend. Now, it wasn't a surprise. As you said, he was 82 years old and he was suffering from colon cancer. And in some ways, the country had been bracing itself for this moment for the last few weeks when he was readmitted to hospital. But the fact that it isn't a surprise makes it no less sad or significant that he has died. Now, it's hard to define just how important Pelé is for Brazil. In footballing terms, he is still the only footballer ever to have won three World Cups during his international career, spanning 14 years. But beyond that and beyond his playing career, he became a cultural icon for Brazil. As his fellow 70s soccer superstar Zico said in his tribute to Pele, a lot of people from outside of Brazil came to know Brazil because of Pele. So he gave a lot of visibility, not just to football in Brazil, but to the country itself. Well, yeah, we're a day after uh, Pele's uh, passing away. Uh, we know a little bit more at this stage about the arrangements for his funeral. We believe on Monday he'll be lying on state. Tuesday the funeral takes place, is that correct? Yes, that's absolutely right. The plans at the moment are precisely that. His body will be taken from the hospital in Sao Paulo where he passed away last night and it will be taken to the stadium Estadio Urbano Caldeira in Santos, which is on the south coast of Sao Paulo State. And it will lie in state in the middle of the pitch in an open coffin from 10 a.m. on Monday until 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Now, the idea is that the coffin, the stadium will be open to the public so that people can go in and pay their last respects to the soccer superstar. But obviously, we'll have more details on that as we get closer to Monday. Then on Tuesday, a cortege will take his coffin and his body to the vertical cemetery in Santos, where 20 years ago, Pele chose a plot. He chose it on the ninth level of the vertical cemetery in honour of his father, who used to wear the number nine shirt during his footballing career. And it also overlooks that stadium, the Estadio Urbano Caldeira in Santos, where Pele spent most of his footballing career. The plan is also for the cortege to go past the house where his 100-year-old mother still lives so that she can, too, pay her last respects to her footballing son. All right, yeah, and uh, with those details for us uh, from Brasilia, thank you.